Can we just start by clarifying, what is psoriasis? Is it a skin disease? There's a lot of misconception about psoriasis. For the longest time, psoriasis has been considered as a cosmetic disease. Unfortunately, during the past de decade or only, uh, psoriasis has been linked with a lot of comorbid conditions like uh, heart disease, diabetes, uvitis, name all the inflammatory disease and you have it. We are at a higher risk of uh, a lot of uh, serious chronic conditions. So what's the best treatment, the best way of treating psoriasis? In an ideal world, as a patient, when I go to a clinic, I want to be you know, treated not only for my skin lesions, I want it to be checked up with my, how's my blood pressure, how's my sugar, just to check that, you know, I, I'm still over, you know, the borderline of diabetes and other chronic inflammatory disease. We do not die from psoriasis. This a lot of people knows that, that's why psoriasis take a lot of back seats, you know, uh, against other chronic or even communicable diseases because People thought nobody dies of psoriasis, but they don't know that a lot of psoriasis, uh, people with psoriasis die from heart disease, we die from diabetes, we die from a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, comorbidities. I think many people in the medical community, forget the wider population, were stunned when the studies came out showing quite how much younger people with psoriasis die. Yes, that's according to a study made by Dr. Gelfand of the USA. And they said that uh, we, we live uh, four years shorter than the average people. Now this besides the point, uh, people with psoriasis always go for the quality of life that we lost. We are people who have lost our dreams, our hopes. Now if given a chance to live maybe for five years without psoriasis, versus to live for, let's say, 20 years with psoriasis, a lot of us will choose living five years without psoriasis. That's the, that's the truth. A depression is something very chronic to us. It happens, you know, the severity of the disease, no matter how severe or how moderate you have, the depression will always seep in there. Now, we have a lot of missed opportunities because of our psoriasis. People do not understand that we are not contagious. You will see it from the stares that you get in the public. It is not, we don't actually take it against the people because it's actually the information, the knowledge that, ava that is available out there that is supposedly, you know, for, for them to understand us. How can the community help sufferers from psoriasis? by making our world bigger, by understanding us. We just need some empathy. We don't need sympathy. We just need to be treated like a human being. In a world that we live where we put high emphasis on a, on a fair and beautiful skin, can you imagine where we stand? Can you imagine if you're just having one pimple, how difficult it is for someone to have that one people on her face. Multiply that into 1,000 times. That's what we live every day with. How important would it be to be able to offer a real hope of clear or almost clear skin? That would mean the, the world to us. That would mean the world to us. I hope someday time will come that no one will suffer, will ever suffer. No one will ever have to leave with psoriasis. The symptom, the humiliation, the deprivation of uh, hopes, chances. We, need that. We, we just need to, li to get our life back. Dr. De Guzman, with you out there spreading the message, I can see it happening. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.